Hey guys, Insomnia here from UnrealTech.net, a division of BlenderTech.com. So the last video I did on this ended up being a half hour and there was no need for it. It was way too long, so I'm redoing it here. So a common question I see on the forums and on Answer Hub is how to make a simple speedometer. So today I'm going to show you how to do that very quickly within the editor with, um, with no need for anything. Like I said, I tried last time, it ended up being a half hour video. I'm going to go over it much more quickly. So remember our motto, create your way and let's get to it. For this tutorial, you'll just need a slight knowledge of blueprints and knowing how to create widgets would help. But with that said, let's get going. So we're going to right click in the content browser, we're going to use your interface. We're going to create a widget blueprint called capital W underscore as a typical widget prefix that I and most other people use. I'm just going to call this speedo. We're going to keep this very, very simple. Um, we are just going to make a vertical box somewhere down here and we're going to put a size box inside of it. That way, when you actually replace what we're going to use with real images, then you can actually uh, set it. So we're going to set it to say 128 by 128. Let's say that's the size of the image you're going to use. So we're going to set the vertical box size to content. Actually, let's set that to 256 by 256. So yeah, let's say that was your image height. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to add a, another vertical box. And inside of that vertical box, we are going to add a, first we're going to add a canvas panel, I guess. I guess that I'm just going to keep this quick and simple. I'm going to add a border inside of there. And this border, I am going to add a size box onto it and make the border size to content as well. And then the second size box, width and height, we're going to set it to 32 pixels, maybe 8 pixels wide and we're going to go about 64 pixels tall so that'll be our little needle and then if we take the border and center it one of these ones here the canvas panel center there we go so now when we take the um canvas panel or the border i think the canvas panel will actually work we go into the transform when we play with the angle you see it rotates so um we'll use the canvas panel then so let's call our canvas panel the uh, needle and make sure you check off is variable because we're going to be setting the angle so notice that uh well first let's set up the pivot so a pivot of 0 0.5 0 0.5 is directly in the center as you see when i move the value we want that to be kind of a the um the bottom uh, but not quite at the bottom so uh in the y is maybe it's the y i'm thinking of zero there we go so that's at the top so what we're gonna want is something like one would be at the bottom so we want something like 0 0.75 probably so as you can see that rotates kind of like a real needle on a speedometer and if we go to zoom plus uh, one to one you kind of get an idea of how it looks we could change the height a little bit if we want we can make it like 128 tall or whatever so um so as you can see negative 90 is basically like zero and plus 90 is uh, full out if you're doing a half circle and zero is in the middle so you have to remember the math when you're um, working this way and then you go up to 180 if you're making 360 to get down to um, the southerly direction but then you have to start going negative starting from negative 180 down to negative 90 to do the last quadrant so you have to remember the math can be a little tricky if you're well working with this but anyways let's set it up so we're going to set the stock angle to zero i'm also going to just add a simple text box and we're just going to set this as zero meters per second so we'll just make a little uh, output display too. So we're going to go to the graph and we need to create a function called get velocity. So hit the plus function, we'll call it get velocity. And it needs no uh, input, but it does need two outputs. So hit two new outputs and make them floats. The first one is going to be velocity normalized. And the second one is just going to be velocity. So that would be like your pure velocity. 
and that was that's the one we're going to use for the text and the other one is what we're going to use for the render angles and we need a local variable just called velocity or something and it will be a float as well so what we do is we start off by um, get owning player pawn so that gets the uh, whatever pawn you are controlling using this uh, GUI you could also use get player character depending on what you're doing and then you want to cast to your character or pawn or whatever you're using so I'm gonna cast to third person uh, character and so as a character and pawns I believe too you can just drag off of and then get velocity and that'll return it in centimeters a second as a vector so to turn it into a float all we do is drag off of that and get the vector length so that just takes the vector and multiplies it by a vector length of one. So it turns that into basically a float of itself in the X, Y, and Z. So we're going to set the velocity, the local variable there, um, to that return value. Um, so the velocity is going to go straight into velocity. We'll clean it up a little there. And then we want to divide this, so divide, float by float, by 3500. And then we want to clamp it. And these are just, uh, a lot of these numbers I just experimented with to come up with. And some of them you can experiment with too to change. We want zero to 1.0. And we'll return that to our velocity normalized. And then the return node obviously read like that. So that's our get velocity uh, function. And we have a ear, velocity already exists. So let's just rename this variable this is a 4.9 bug there we go all right so um let's take our text right here in the designer let's go to text let's create a binding create binding and let's just call it get speed text all we're going to do is call the get velocity function and then we're going to take the velocity out we're going to divide it by whatever you want to uh, convert to so I'm converting centimeters a second to meters per second so I need to divide by 100 if you want to go into miles per hour you'd have to figure out how to take centimeters per second into uh, miles per hour so just google that and it'll tell you exactly what math you need to do then I'm going to do uh, a two text and then lastly I'm going to do a format text so this little trick here. So what I'm gonna format is I'm gonna do speed and then a space and then meters a second. And so basically I'm gonna unplug speed into the return value here. What it, what this format text and the result in the return value, return node uh, back into the get velocity. So what this uh, format text does is it basically replaces the curly brackets with speed in them with whatever we plug into speed. So now it'll say however many meters per second. So with that done, we can just go to the event graph now and set up the, um, the needle turning. So what we need to do is we need to do an event tick because we want it to update constantly. You could do this on a set timer if you only wanted it to update once in a while. And we need to call our get velocity function. And off of that, we take we need to take the normalized velocity. Like I said, we need to multiply it by uh, 1200. And then remember how I told you that um, zero is kind of in the middle or it is in the middle but negative 90 gives you like the starting position like all the way to the left so we want to go a float minus float we want to subtract 90 and that'll make it start right at the beginning so this is kind of where you set the starting angle um, that that number right there so then we create a branch the condition is if this is greater than or equal to 30 if that is true, we we need to drag in our needle with control held down to do a getter. Um, if that is true, then we set render angle. We also do that as a false set render angle. So the angles. So um, if it's false, the angle just becomes the output value. However, if it's true, then what we need to do is get game time in seconds. So this is how long the game has elapsed. We need to multiply it 
uh, by 27. This is like how sensitive the needle will be. If you set it really high, it'll be kind of twitchy. If you set it lower, it'll be you know, nice and smooth. Then we need to get the sine in radians. If you remember your trig. And then we need to multiply that by five. And again, that kind of just uh, plays with the sensitivity. And then we need to uh, do a plus, float plus float, and we need to add that return value to this value. Two different uh, ideas there. That's just the core rotation. This this is uh, this is using trig. So that plugs into the true. Now we can compile and save. So on event begin play, I'm gonna add widget speedo and then add to viewport. So let's hit play. So as you can see, we have the little meter there and it's got the speed. And when I run, as you can see, it kind of pegs out and it gives me my speed. When I jump, it goes up a little more. So you can see it's very sensitive because of the values I used. If I go back and change, I believe, this 1200, I think that's way too high. I think it's 300 is what I use stock. And then compile. Then it just goes nice and smooth. Jump, it goes up and back to, and just like that. So as you can see, yeah, it's nice and nice and responsive. But yeah, it's smooth and crisp. So yeah, that is the updated, much quicker version of how to create a speedometer in Unreal Engine 4. I hope this has helped all of you out there that um, we're looking and asking how to do that and there are no tutorials out there on it so now there is so i want to say thank you for watching from the team here at unrealtech.net a division of blendertech.com if you enjoyed this video and learned something please like it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos or on social media on the links on your screen if you dislike this video for some reason please tell us why so we can continually improve our videos based on your community input we also take requests we'll see you next time remember create